Hey guys, so in this video we're going to go over the AdView accounts page. Um, as with any of these tutorials, some of the design, layout, and certain options may change a bit, but this should give you a good overall idea of uh, what this page is and, and what you can do with this page. So the first thing I would do is if you just got a new FCS Networker account is I'd go and download the FCS Networker auto login plugin. Just click this link, it'll automatically detect which browser you're using and download the right version for you. Um, for Internet Explorer and Chrome, uh, you may have to install it after it downloads. Uh, Firefox will install automatically, um, but they're all pretty easy to get up and going. And uh, let me just show you what exactly that plugin does. Um, the plugin will automatically log you into any of your accounts. So this is great if you're uh, somebody who likes to, you know, really spice up your accounts manually, or uh, you know, you really want to maintain a high quality with your with your network. It just lets you uh, flip through your accounts quickly and easily. So. Um, for example, you just, there you go, you just click the login button. Uh, let's try net log. And as you can see, it'll just uh, quickly log you into any of your accounts. And this is just a great feature because it makes it really easy to control a lot of accounts um, manually. And in this uh, day and age with uh, Google wanting such high quality and, and stuff like that, it makes it really easy for you to go in and spice up your sites. And and uh, especially if you're using some of these sites uh, as tier one, um, you know, high quality sites, or if it's actually your own WordPress site, like you can even use this to uh, control, you know, your money sites, just put all your Word press sites in here and you can quickly log in and log out and it just makes it really easy to control a lot of accounts. So that's a cool feature. Um, now on to what the, this actual page, this page is your main control over your accounts that you have um, in FCS Networker. So if you want to add an account, you just click the add account button and then you just uh, choose what network. You put in um, the email you signed up with, your username in that account, your password, and then the homepage link of the blog. Um, now, this is uh, pretty easy for certain sites. Some sites may be a little more difficult for you to to know which uh, a blog, which is the homepage of the blog, or what we need. This link field is rarely used, so I wouldn't stress too much about it. Um, you definitely need to include it, but if you find a site that you're unsure of what your blog homepage is, you could always just uh, shoot the help desk a question and we'll let you know. But uh, our import bulk accounts is what works with our account creator. So for those that are using our account creator, it's uh, all this work is done for you. When you upload the accounts from our software, it automatically puts it in the right format. So you don't even need to worry about any of that. Um, so for the bulk account importer, if you're coming from uh, importing accounts from another software, this is the format. It's uh, the network name, so that would be like Tumblr, WordPress, um, whatnot. The email address associated with the account, the username, the password, and the homepage URL, um, comma separated. So you do one per line. So let's say uh, demo at hotmail.com. Username was demo123. Password was password123. And the homepage link was demo123.tumblr.com. So that would be the format you would use to do the bulk import. So you could import as many accounts. Uh, this could be a WordPress site. Um, like that. So it makes it really easy to do bulk imports um, from third-party software if you're creating your accounts with uh, SE Nuke or Magic Submitter or some other software 
Once again, our software has this all tied in, so you don't even need to worry about this. You just click the Upload Accounts button in the software, and it'll do all this for you. Um, the other option is you can import to uh, no category. These will just get imported. You can create a new category to import them. Just name your category, and then you'd click the Add Accounts. Um, or you could choose a pre-created category, so category 6, uh, just add accounts, and it'll automatically add the accounts and put them in the category. So this is cool if you, you know, have a big uh, Web 2.0 network for your car insurance niche or something, and you just created a bunch more Web 2.0s, just, you know, if you had a car insurance category, let's say that was a car insurance category, put all your sites there, add accounts, and they're automatically in your car insurance category. So it makes it really quick and easy. And uh, this is a great way to, if you're coming over from other software where you have tons and tons of accounts, um, just get them in this format and you could uh, import you know, thousands of them at a time rather than having to go one by one. Now, Back to the main interface. This interface uh, is basically just the overview of all your accounts that you have. So we give you the option to view by uh, all accounts, basically, which is all categories. Um, you could view failed accounts. These are accounts that have failed during submission. So this is a good way to, you know, you could just select all and uh, delete all of these and just get rid of them since they're failing. Um, Sometimes sites will fail a few times and still be good. So, um, for example, this soup site failed um, because soup.io is down. So it also gives you a second chance to make sure this account probably is not dead. It's just that the soup um, is having issues with their servers, so we're getting certain fails. So it gives you a way to bulk delete dead accounts, but also if you want to you know, sift through and make sure the accounts are dead and there's not another reason why uh, it might be failing, maybe a wrong password or something. So that's the failed accounts. Then you could just view by your categories. So oh, I don't have any accounts in that category. Oh, a bunch of empty categories. Sorry, guys. Um, so this woohoo category has all these accounts. And so any account, any account category you make, uh, will just load up in here so you can flip through your accounts easily and um, it makes it easy if you uh, you know want to log in um, to a certain category if you have your car insurance niche just uh, load up the category and then you could you know work on these individually and whatnot so that's a easy way to just uh, organize and view your accounts by your different categories. Uh, the bulk action is just delete in bulk. Um, you could search, so if you wanted to just view all your whale inside accounts, you could search by that. Um, let's say you had a username. Um, you could search all accounts by username. Uh, so this gives an easy way to just search through your accounts. Um, these options, you could edit your account details if you need to change a password or, or whatnot. Um, the login we already showed, you could delete an account. Or this is uh, a way to individually work with categories for an individual site. So if you hit the categories for an ind individual site, it's going to show you a list of all the categories. And the check marks are next to which category this particular site is a part of. So you can view by all categories or just the accounts categories. So this account belongs to three categories. Now let's go back to the all categories. Let's say uh, we didn't want it part of 333 category anymore. And we wanted it part of category 8. Um, we didn't want it part of 222 anymore. We wanted it part of category 5. Then we just saved the changes. And uh, now we've easily um, and quickly changed the categories that that site belongs to. And you could view any of the sites, the categories they belong to. This site doesn't belong to any categories. Let's put it in 222. And uh, there we go. So this is your overall 
uh, page you'll use when dealing with accounts. Um, and it uh, it's just basically your main hub of your FCS Networker accounts. Um, in the other videos, we'll go into uh, dealing with the account categories and cr uh, creating the categories and whatnot. But this will be your main um, account dashboard, so to say. All right, guys. See you in the next video.